the first one that I that I, that I want to to promote, and I want you guys to just go there. If Libori don't mind, Libori take off the old belt and we put the, the new belt. Is and again, it's nice to see that it's a batch of people that been training here from white to black belt, right? It's super cool. It's something like homemade, homegrown, and every, everyone should be proud of it, right? The place that you are right now, right? To come to the mat and you can have like at least half a dozen of black belts to train with. It's not every place in order that you can get this, right? But the first one because I. <laughs> I had promised this from before when I was down in Bergen. Tari, come here. We're gonna get you a, a black belt here. <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you, man. You know what you do. First of all, I want to know why did you start jiu-jitsu? <laughs> <laughs> what, what does this black belt mean to you? Ooh, a lot of pressure here. Uh, you know, first off, uh, I didn't think of it that way when I came here in the, to begin with, but as a 15-year-old, I really needed a place to belong. And you know my past. I had a troublesome childhood. And, <laughs> and you know like like coming in here meeting people from so many different points of life you know with kids with work with uh you know a lot of how should say yeah stance and so for me this was a this was a big part of my me as a development as a person to come inside here uh you know i could have ended up just about anywhere here in the world. And for me just to to start here as a 15 year old, you know, there's a lot of guys, perhaps not all of them are here today, but Emir, Alexander you Rash. Your mother here, your my girl, mother, your daughter. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the most man. But they and came, they came. These guys. They, they. <laughs> like, there's so many names that I could mention. Uh, people who've been there, taking me under their wing, you know, since day one and if that w didn't happen I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be standing here right now and I mean what we have here is incredible the, ma the amount of social support that we have through each other is incredible and you know I moved to Bergen for five four or five years ago and uh, and got this wonderful child here Elena. ten months ago <laughs> And, and it did put the, uh, like it did put my passion to the test for sure. But just being able to have her on the mat, you know, meeting the people that I love to meet every day, and <laughs> you know, I can just say I'm a very lucky man to have this life and to have these people around me. Uh, and yeah, that's in short. <laughs> and, and yeah, you guys know Teta and Henato, those guys, they took me over like to Sweden to compete so many times. Remember the 10 kilos of candy we would buy on the way back? <laughs> Alex, Alex would be there with me. He would, he would literally eat the whole 10 kilos by the time we came back to Oslo, which was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah, you taught us about that diet with the Cuckoo's bola. The lighter the cuckoo's bola is, the less weight you gain afterwards. So it's fine. <laughs> uh, what does it mean to have this now? Man, it's it's uh, it's a new beginning. It's it's I guess you could say starting fresh. Uh, finally, I can get to compete with uh, the big league. And uh, yeah, now it's serious. Thank you, man.